I guess in re-adaptations of biblical stories, you can't say God anymore. Nope, it's not God, it's the Creator. Okay, so Noah. Noah is directed by Darren Aronofsky and is starring Russell Crowe. Darren Aronofsky is a director that gives us some really psychological movies. For example, Requiem for a Dream and Black Swan. And if you've seen these movies, you know what Darren Aronofsky is about. He gives us movies that messes with our minds a little bit. And if you guys seen any of the movies that I've mentioned, you'll know what I'm talking about. Trippy. So Russell Crowe plays a man named Noah in this movie as the title name, and he was given the task by the Creator to save every living thing on this earth before it gets taken down by the flood. And I'm sure most of you know the story of Noah by now. Noah has to gather two of every animal, but no humans. And the flood is happening to get rid of all the wickedness of man on earth. And I just got out seeing this movie, and it's a pretty dark movie. Darren Aronofsky gives us a readaptation of the old biblical tale. So when there's a readaptation of something, there's a few things added in there. For example, the watchers in this movie. They're these giant stone walking like creatures. In the beginning of the movie, the CGI to them, it wasn't all that great. They're moving as if it's been taken from like an 80s movie. An 80s sci-fi movie. They're all walking and talking to Noah like, Noah, you must build the ark. They did not look great at all in the beginning, but as the movie progresses, they look, begin to look better. The way they move and how they look, it improves. You'll see it. And I like a readaptation of the movie because it shows the director how he views the whole story. His vision, which ultimately shows creativity. The acting in this movie was pretty good. Russell Crowe was good, Jennifer Connelly was good, and Emma Watson was good. And so was the bad guy in this movie. I don't know what his name is, but he did a really good job. All I know is that he was in Beowulf, so I'll just call him Beowulf. It's always nice to see a revamp of a really beloved biblical story, but not all of it can be great. The Bible, next to Greek mythology, they're really cherished stories. So there's going to be a couple of people out there who might be a little mad of what Darren Aronofsky did to this movie. However, there's nothing wrong with creativity. So aside from all the bad CGI and the really robot-like stone creatures, it's worth checking out in theaters. So I say I give Noah a 3 out of 5. There are some really good fighting scenes and there are some really good acting in this movie. However, the bad CGI and special effects, it kind of takes me away from it personally. No doubt that it is still a good story to be told. Alright guys, I have to get going. Peace!